So, hi everyone. Thank you for agreeing to be part of this conversation at uh, such short notice. Um, my name is Sudhir Srinivasan, and this conversation is part of a series called uh, Lights On, where uh, we discuss a film after it's released. Um, yeah. Inge vande, of course, we have uh, writer director Sivan and directors Bharat Neelakantan and Sarjun and actor Prasanna, who all combined along with many others to make the three segment anthology, um, the Telugu anthology uh, Adam. Um, although all of us can talk Tamil, let's have this conversation in English as it's a Telugu series and one whose appeal could cut across regions as well. Um, I would hate for language to be a limiting factor in this discussion. Um, so while I will try and call out who I am addressing uh, questions to, by all means, feel free to make this an informal exchange. By all means, pitch in and speak out of turn, no problem. Let's make this a conversation. Um, Siva, perhaps uh, you could start by talking to me about the name of the series, Adam, uh, which of course, uh, if I remember, means mirror in Telugu, Ilya. Um, did you mean for this anthology to be a mirror into humanity, into the fact that we may not be as perfect as we think? Was, was no, that the, uh, was that the I think, uh, first of all, thanks for having us. Uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to you and it's always a pleasure to see my friends. Uh, up here on the screen. Um, I think we, I mean, it's it's quite obvious, so I find it a, a little uh, a pretentious to explain the title. Uh, but uh, uh, mirror essentially means uh, uh, you're looking inwards, you know what I mean? Uh, sometimes uh, what you are assuming yourself to be could be totally uh, cut off from the reality if you look inwards deeper. And the other thing is, uh, which is totally opposite to what I just said, which is when you look at the mirror, you can actually find what you're looking for. If you already think you are perfect, if you already think you are even perfect, the more you look at yourself, the uh, more you're going to find. It's something like, uh, in a way, how you review, you know what I mean? If, if you're looking for an angle, you're going to find it. <laughs> Uh, if, if, if you if you if you think there is some kind of political message hidden in a particular uh, art uh, form that you are reviewing, you will find it. Similarly, if I am thinking um, that I am perfect, when I look into the mirror, I'm going to find it to be perfect. So, as I was saying, it's 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 all about uh, looking inwards. Uh, mm. th that's what I meant. It's not about the reflection of the society or something. It's so it's only about your inner conscience and right. your own uh, opinion of yourself. Right. Um, given this, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's a fair assessment, but from what I've seen so far in the regional OTT space, um, the content seems to be fairly simplistic and straightforward in nature, so to speak. Um, was there ever a worry about um, losing out on the easy appeal of OTT content when, uh, you know, the content is so much more than what it seems, as it is the case with the three stories in Abdham. Um, you know, where you're not really spelling out lessons or, you know, telling people that this is what this is about. Um, I mean, there's a fair bit left to the person's imagination to make things up in each of these stories. I think uh, uh, wh what you're talking about is definitely the limitation of the filmmakers, not the audience. Uh, if you're saying the content that's out in the OTT at the moment uh, is kind of too definitive and too narrow, it's, it's got everything to do with uh, us. You know, we think this is what people want to see. We think this is what everybody wants to uh, spend their time on and this is how much they will understand, but we are always wrong. Uh, you're talking about, uh, let's compare this with uh, short stories, for example, you know, there, mm. there are these uh, simplistic one page, two page short stories that you find in magazines. Then you also have J.D. Salinger and Edgar Allan Poe and Vaikam Muhammad Bashir and, uh, you know, sometimes Sujata and uh, Pudumai Pistan always. So who can actually take uh, the narrative standards to a completely different level? Uh, they can say little and leave a lot more to the imagination of others. It is the trust in the audience that allows them to produce uh, uh, art mm. of superior quality. And I think we should all strive for that. So I don't know. I, I really don't know what people want. I think we should always think that they are smarter than you. And uh, if they say, hey, you're not as smart as I thought you would be, make better films, you should just take it on the chin and try to make something more so. I never thought that uh, we were taking a bold step forward. In fact, I think we are. We have a long, long way to go to actually meet the 
uh, needs of the audience mm-hmm. um and before i uh, delve into the individual segments uh, that form this anthology i want to say that i really enjoyed how the whole series looks and feels um and i do think it's a, it's also a departure from the general ot- vision lotity content that i have been privy to over you know in in, in the recent past um could one of you talk about this talk about whether or not you had certain limitations to overcome to make it look and sound a certain way and to the two directors to uh, talk about their films because uh, they know how they approached it hmm. but it's <laughs> ஒரு <laughs> 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 and we had challenges to uh, you know as we went near the goal uh, mm. we had the challenges of course because of the lockdown you know uh, costumes were a bit challenge uh, we were demanding actors were demanding um, uh, uh, cinematography the locations the keys because people were giving permissions and they were uh, rolling it back and things like that but uh, the goal was set that it it needs to look good uh, we went in uh, we the kind of uh, pre production i'm say I'm, i'm not saying like you know it's not uh, other than not doing i'm saying but we went with the proper mood we were in sync even during the actor pitching stage even to actors we pitched with the mood board uh, so they they knew uh, what the colors what the kind of colors they are going to see and uh, I, i think we all, all three of us achieved what we put on the table and we saw the same thing on the uh, screen as well you know thanks to mm. again to the sound and uh, suresh the di guy also varun sajun would you like to add on to this yeah uh, when actually uh, i read uh, all the three scripts uh, when it uh, when the project started so uh, when i read it i was sure that my my story was uh, it had predominantly exteriors so i knew that i could play around with the visuals Uh, but when i read the other two stories i said that most of them were interior but when i saw the output you know i was very happy and uh, uh, first i saw only shivas's film the mm. the unwisdom secret and then bharat's film both were looking stunning and the irony was i was not able to exactly do whatever i planned because uh, mm. for the the road that never ends whatever location we fixed everything changed in the last minute so until the day before i did not have the location so oh, I, i prepared a mood board i prepared a look and feel everything i was like at last i came to a point like okay fine let me just get the location first and then i'll decide so whatever i decided the way i have to shoot it changed a lot when i went to shoot because of the permission problems and a lot of other restrictions because you're shooting during the lockdown so you know uh, it was exactly opposite when i saw the output uh, uh, so i had uh, uh, when i saw when i read the script i thought that the other two were a lot of interiors uh, so but the visuals were stunning and i thought that i could uh, bring in a lot, Do a lot of, of right i think but you know i got stuck because of locations also so, but so in a in sense end, you were you were more or less kicking yourself about your choice ah huh? uh, abdin solla mudiyadhu but enna solra na nari vanda i just went with the flow yeah right. uh, he wanted the, the story he he wanted to make that story so yeah, i don't think he would ever back so i i wanted <laughs> no, no, that just... uh, but uh, i i planned a lot but everything changed the last minute mm. uh, like on spot we changed a lot uh, me and uh, my dop selva but uh, he came up with some uh, really good ideas uh, uh, and we shot in a very small period but the output uh, was satisfactory at last right also right. sudhir uh, uh, also sudhir it's never enough and it's uh, you can't have any excuses like we shot during covid you know what i mean because these yeah, movies yeah. have to right. work many years later also and you, you can't have a subtitle saying shot during covid so please be kind to us so <laughs> if you if you can if you can if you can try your best and uh, make it as good as you possibly can then you give it a longer life i think sorry prasanna i interrupted you go on no no problem no uh, my director spoke about their uh, limitations around their creative uh, uh, liberty but as an actor 
this was the pretty first uh, shoot i went after uh, uh, covid scenario and uh, uh, of course i did couple of ad films but that was just for a day and but but still the euphoria around shooting during covid was something extraordinary it was really overwhelming and the production uh, handled it so so well uh, they made sure uh, everyone is safe there was there was uh, 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 sanitizing pods everywhere uh, uh, people were you know insisted to wear mask uh, we tried our best to keep the uh, unit as crisp as possible because we didn't want too much crowd but at the same time what what needed to be on screen was brought in uh, and to be in front of camera of course it, it was it was so good after 8 months of uh, you know uh, meeting my love uh, <laughs> you know it, it, it was so good but then having kids back home to shoot without the mask uh, you know of course my co actors also uh, couldn't wear mask when we were in front of the camera uh, the actors are the most uh, uh, what to say uh, vulnerable uh, people in the set because we can't mm. afford to wear the mask all the time um, we yeah. need to do a touch up we need to have our uh, staff uh, uh, closer mm. in spite of all that there was a lot of excitement getting back to work and mm. touchwood nobody in the team uh, uh, you know was affected uh, after the shoot uh, it was it was all a um, happy uh, you know getting back to work after a holiday kind of a stuff right right um, i mean sarjun spoke about uh, uh, you know the reasons for why he chose his film um bharat and sever did you guys uh, uh, i mean was there something specific about your individual segments that appealed to you um, that made you want to direct them see for me when uh, crossroads came uh, uh that was the only story i listened then uh, i i decided i wanted to do so interestingly the setup is kind of uh, you know i've done it somewhat somewhat uh, close to the same kind of setup with the one night stand and all that in k13 but yeah. that there was a huge rush then when i was shooting my first film i did two things right and wrong and all that so for me it was like this time let's do it better uh, you know let's do it right kind of you know uh, let's get more shots and things like that so i didn't feel like it was repeating i thought okay but you don't get that no you know there's a scene and you can't go back and uh, uh, let's say you know do it again do it one more time yeah. so that that one thing got excited then what uh, was exciting then the next one was um, i like i like the story i connected to it on all you know in many 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 ways and i kind of refused to uh, so during the uh, random discussions after i zeroed in on the story or rather they picked me for the story so sujata uh, you know she used to uh, try to narrate the other stories i used to stop her no don't tell me see, because i do not want to start thinking like why didn't i pick the other story and all that and uh, yeah i i mean after seeing the film i did uh, uh, think that you know uh, sarjun's film okay it's got a lot of uh, emotion and stuff like that you know um, uh, so it should have done then uh, the first film i saw visually was uh, um, she was so when i saw that the way it was shot i thought mm. oh, you you know namma indha mari shot vekkiye Right. Uh, you know the, the shots the, the, the psychological space and the psychiatric space and all that you know it was like awesome but when i read the story i decided that okay this is a story i want to do and i want to do it right and perfect now that you are saying it's looking good and all that and so we are i'm happy that you know i i stuck to the whatever uh, the goal was sarjun so definitely you're not alone here in uh, in, in feeling that other films look better <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, <laughs> no see uh okay uh, no, no honestly speaking in fact yeah. there is a call due i'm planning to have with shiva no, no, i'm i'm I, there's a call due i'm planning to have with shiva to uh to find out how would you how would you have shot uh crossroads you know because he wrote it uh, you know i'm i'm very curious to know that you know uh what kind of shots you would have gone for Well, you know i i want to talk to him about that one and also about his film say for example you know uh, this that is this counseling center there is a psychiatrist thing and i would have imagined uh, you know a table chair i don't know uh, the kind of space that he he, uh, he had imagined you know it's a huge vast empty space 
I really loved it that way. I wouldn't have thought in the same, visualized in the same manner. Uh, yeah, I wanted to talk to him about all this. So, how the other two films did better, I would want to talk to both the directors sometime later. Maybe success uh, parties. I, I, I think that is what worked in uh, Shiva Sir's film. You know, the same thing when I saw the first time the visuals. Uh, it uh, uh, when I read the script, I imagined the film to be in certain way. But he has shot it in totally a different zone, which is what mm-hmm. was interesting to watch. Yeah. So that is what I told him when I first time yeah. I watched. I said the yeah. shots are very different. I mean, uh, normally you know, yeah. I, someone can't hold a close profile for like uh, half a minute when the dialogue is going on. If I was there, I would feel insecure and I'll cut a close up there. Cut. But he has right. gone to a. Uh, the, the, he has he has chosen the language to be such a way that he was the, the conviction was very strong and he has gone by it and I think which is what was uh, brilliant about the film, uh, you know uh, and yeah as he said uh, the psychiatrist room uh, I, I thought of I imagined it to be in a certain way but again he went with wide spaces uh, sitting opposite uh, so it, it, those are all surprising elements when you you know imagine something and then watch it. And that is what I I thought it worked very well in that film. I think even within the interiors of the Varlakshmi house, I thought the camera movement was fluid in a way that you wouldn't usually expect. Um, you know, in right. in, exactly. in, in, in yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we all have uh, different accents, uh, different body language. I, th- I think we have to learn from actors like Prasanna, who can uh, inhibit a role in his own way. That could be a different interpretation from what the writer or director. you know meant initially but he can give it a completely different color which is better than what you have imagined so it's like our individual styles uh, uh, actually we offered a different uh, role to uh, prasanna for an, an oh, unproduced did? script yeah yeah but, but mm. he i mean i i mean i think i can speak for him in this case we didn't approach him only as a star we also wanted his opinion and he's more like a collaborator he doesn't let go of things if he uh is not convinced so we wanted him to really like the role and latch on to it and come on board which he did uh, for the film uh, uh, bharat directed just to uh, elaborate on your question about uh, different styles and everything i think it's easier and much more convenient to look at that process through an actor like prasanna he is almost you know I, i don't know method acting and all that i mean obviously i know what I don't know whether he follows that, but he's somebody reading the script again and again. He keeps asking questions, but then when he comes in front of camera and performs, it's his own idea of somebody else's uh, creation, and that makes a lot better sense than how it was imagined. So, uh, in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say mm. is, it's still a, a huge collaborative effort, unlike a painting, where you have a certain idea and you execute it with your own hand. But whereas with your lighting and camera movement, the DOP has a simple set like the lens or the actor says can i do this can i look like this then it adds i think the uh, how much a director can take it and absorb it and put it back there defines our individual styles i think i hope that makes sense prasanna adding on to this um, i mean would you want to talk about whether or not i mean how you sort of did you reinterpret the role in a sense or did you play it out exactly as 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 it was asked of you No, I'm sure uh, uh, Shiva will recollect the phone call I had with him just before uh, uh, going in front of the camera. Um, of course, me, uh, Bharat, uh, the other actors, uh, you know, Pavitra, Gautam, we all had a reading session. But then uh, it it was not something usual. Uh, again, a Zoom call like this. You know, we were all at our own places, just reading the lines. We really couldn't do a proper uh, uh, rehearsal kind of uh, uh, thing. But then, when uh, uh, I was in the set the the first day, I had uh, two things in my mind, like two, going two ways about uh, handling uh, Krish. And one, either I could have uh, made him look like a very matured, seen enough in life kind of a, a man, or still a, a young boy who has lost his, uh, his romance, still you know, looking for an opportunity to. Uh, uh, refined his uh, 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 you know last four months so i called him and asked him uh, how do i go about this <laughs> shiva uh, he gave me a one liner just go in front of the camera and be yourself and he just hung up the call <laughs> so, <laughs> so i i was like okay let me try this 
I I couldn't uh, think too much because I didn't have much time. So I just uh, stood in front of the camera and tried to put myself into Krish. And I think there was there was a lot of magic in uh, Shiva's writing. The way uh, Bharat uh, tried to emote me uh, just before the shot, and the magic uh, just uh, unfolded. Uh, mm. In fact. Uh, we shot the later portion of the uh, uh, film the first day i mean the, the yeah. conversation that me and pavitra have uh, in the corridor uh, after she exits the bar uh, and uh, th- that's the first day we worked together and i i'm sure it, it's because of the beautiful writing the beautiful lines uh, shiva had brought in there there was so much magic in it uh, i was able to feel that even the very first shot i was doing and everything else just fell in place so uh, just going in front of camera without any uh, inhibitions or without any uh, preparations also sometimes you know uh, helps you pull off a magic um, right. and and i i felt that magic all over as i was watching prasanna uh, perform you know uh because i mean i i don't prefer looking at the monitor while the actor is performing i was standing a little close closer to him and i was watching both the actors acting and it was like uh, yeah again thanks to the writing and it was like beautifully two guys are flirting that's all you know imagine you actually sitting at the counter of a bar and uh, uh, you know like watching couple of uh, guys like flirting you know that's awesome isn't it like and these guys are not acting i mean like they were acting but i could uh, uh, you know uh, get the sense of it uh, you know right there and it was mm. really beautiful and i was enjoying every time you know during the edit or the sound or the music and every time i uh, i was thoroughly enjoying the performances including uh, abhiravi for that matter you know so that wife mm-hmm. character was played wonderfully by her as well i mean uh, we will get I, to i want to mention about this shot i think which which we, which we did the first uh, uh, as the first shot where i um, you know i'll be in out of focus pavitra will be walking in the corridor i'll run from behind and look for yeah. her and then find her come yes. running towards her uh, i mean there's almost a flamboyant yeah. gesture you do in the background when you come running yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that just happened you know i, I wasn't yeah. planning for it the first uh, first take we did uh, it didn't come that way second take i did that third take i changed something else and then uh, for the fourth take uh, bharat came and said you what you did in the second uh, take was uh, something nice so why don't you try it again i wasn't sure what i did so i went back to the monitor and saw what i did yeah. and and uh, you know that, that that came again uh, so a few few things like that you no know, it was so impromptu and when when it when we got it uh, uh, filmed it was so exciting let's go through the order of uh, the anthology um sarjun you are the road that never ends it's like uh, you can't get away from what is generally thought to be a controversial subject so to speak you know what i'm saying um, do you feel like any any time a short story touches upon something that causes people discomfort do you feel like immediately people think of you uh actually i was not given this story by the way so uh, we were i was given yeah. one more uh, subject i think we weren't able to film that uh, uh, probably in the next season right so uh, but when i read so i read four scripts so when i read the first thing i told to shiva sir was lorry is brilliant because i loved it the first time when i read it so it, it, i think it has everything and uh, as a as a director for me if i take that up i can I, i can bring in my thing and then i'll be very happy if i do that that is what i told but uh, that was supposed to be done by someone else and then later things mm. change and at last that story came to me again so i was very <laughs> happy was, like yeah it, it was like, it was written in the stars huh. yeah so was, <laughs> and and coming to the controversy thing uh, no actually i thought that this story had uh, i mean uh, it's okay i think uh, i'm being selfish i i loved my story a lot out of the lot so mm. out of three and uh, uh, it, it it had that uh, the performance and the, the emotion meter was excellent so all i had to do was just make the artist perform and then record it so mm. uh, though i had these visual ideas of do this do that but once i stepped on on set when i was on set i just thought that the the, the script has everything that it has to be and we just have to make the actors get the performance out of the actors that is all i had to do in fact while i was shooting the lorry interior portions 
I felt that uh, the shots were very monotonous because I couldn't mm. do anything much other than the over the shoulders, the profile over the shoulder, profile and, and then front tuck. I couldn't do anything more. Uh, so I was like, okay. So I was a little skeptical about whether uh, the visuals will be good, bad, will mm. it be interesting. So because I saw Shivas's film also the, the a week before, so I was like, oh, okay, the, he has the, the, the visuals were stunning uh, for him, and I thought like okay, I I was quite uh, scared in that. But end of the day, I just realized that the script, all it needed was just to get the performance out, and follow the basic film language. That is all. Mm. So mm. after that, I just got into that mode where I I did not experiment anything with any of the angles. No, uh, nothing uh, out of the you know the rule book. I just went by the right. rule book, and then I I just made sure that the the performance meter was okay because the film had that all the potential to go wrong if the performance was not right. Let right. it be from... you know because because you speak so much about performances um i must say that i thought it was uh, uh, um you know sort of a departure to see jay prakash play an evidently evil character yeah <laughs> you know what got you i was i mean who who thought of him uh, can you tell me about uh, thinking of uh, him for this part no i think when uh, we thought of options he was on the top because uh, we wanted someone who should uh, be known in telugu so but who should be staying in chennai so all that uh, the the yeah. restrictions we had so uh, jp sir was on the top i mean and uh, uh, we had i mean uh, we had a little doubt whether he'll fit into the role but then i thought the the first thing that comes into our mind i when i was taking some references for the lorry driver costumes and everything uh, it is very uh, you know convenient for us to think of a lorry driver certain way so i thought mm. that uh, we should break that uh it was also a little you know uh, might look fake if it was not in intact so that was also there but jp sir pulled it off with ease on spot i didn't have any problem the way in his body language or uh, we we made sure that the costumes were the colors and everything fit in properly and the way he performed only actually you know um, gave that uh, genuinity to the character rather than uh, probably i could have gone with any other actor but uh, he made sure that he was not out of place so i right. would give uh, credits to him too seva so, uh, maybe i can have you pitch in for a bit here um in this story i think um jp's character is probably the only um, uh, pretty clear cut evil character so to speak um you know across all the three stories otherwise the the emphasis seems to be on how you shouldn't immediately box people into judgments and sort of look at them as bad people in a sense um i mean what do you make of it um the evil uh, doesn't exactly turn up when you are expecting it it can surprise you from any corner that's also there and uh, and it and it's also uh, a little bit of uh, philosophizing in way that uh, uh, morality as you approach it is not single layered it's got many layers so uh, an act that decides defines your moral fiber at a particular instance has already got a reason behind it that you are either stealing this food or not stealing it for a reason uh, so mm. it's 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 more about how you arrive at a decision and what you do at that point so uh, d- d- does it uh, does does it make his uh, theft acceptable because he stole it from an evil guy no i think it becomes a little more palatable because the lady is aware of it and she lets him go so that, yeah. that's what we were trying to go for um before i move to you know the stories of uh, uh, the the other two stories sarjun i also want to tell you that i i quite enjoyed the performance of rohini given the limited uh, space she got i thought she was particularly effective uh, you know given the given the limited time she got um did this excellence surprise you or <laughs> or something that this i mean did, did you already sign up for this no i think uh, i was uh, expecting that so uh, so we knew right. uh, rohini ma'am like the how she has done the previously that the, all this works but uh, you know mm-hmm. what uh, extra thing what she did was uh, she she gave me a call a week before the shoot and she asked mm-hmm. me to uh, explain the background of the character which was not in the film so she asked me to explain what was the relationship between the husband and the wife uh, so if she had known already whatever he has done then why didn't she react yeah. so what could have happened uh probably uh, uh what what was the relationship with the mother the the lorry driver's mother so she she made a list of questions and she asked me and i gave my answers 
and uh, you see someone did you have answers the, uh, already for, did you already have answers or did you sort of make them up on the spot no no i had i had <laughs> yeah i mean we was in a video <laughs> call uh, yeah we, may, we we did a video call and uh, so i understood right. the character in a certain way and i explained it to her i said this is what mm-hmm. i look at the character as and uh, she had some disagreements and uh, but later i think uh, we came to one point where okay this is what her character is i think this is how it should be performed and in every dial every dialogue we went through every dialogue and i made sure that we both were on the same road because we were shooting in a very less time period and uh, so i had to make sure that uh, there are no arguments on set because this character itself is a, a kind of a, you know uh, it can be performed either this way or that way so mm. but uh, when i went on spot uh, the the last scene when she talks to the boy it, it was only we had only two takes totally the first take was white and second take was close that's all she completed right. the entire scene in one take and then she completed mm. the same scene in another close up take that's all over there was no changes right. nothing and i was i i knew where all the edit was because the uh, i had discussion with chua sir before so what what and where the the emotion and where which point it comes out so it was not a surprise but actually you know uh, it was very easy to work with her uh, in that uh, right manner. i mean while talking about rohini right one of my favorite roles of hers is that um, uh, is her role in magalid mattum if i'm not wrong oh um, yeah i mean <laughs> you know and it seems like uh, somehow she keeps getting boxed into these roles where you know she has to cry a lot and you know get all theory and sentimental it i mean i've seen a few of the telugu films as well and they keep giving us that role as well do you feel like that's not because really... not uh, that's because not many people can cry as well so <laughs> <laughs> no choice <laughs> fair enough <laughs> varun and prasanna i particularly enjoyed your film i already tweeted about it i'm sure you you saw that um Thank you. I, i particularly enjoyed how it refuses to moralize uh, the issue you know um sivas story sort of speaks about him at a vulnerable moment um where he is almost ready to do something that is generally thought wrong however you never you know uh, are pushed into judging him for for what he is doing there um and any time i see a mentally upset man in conversation with a bartender i'm not sure if it's just me but i keep thinking of the shining <laughs> yeah. in fact today me and uh, bharat were uh, uh, even uh, shelly the cameraman we were also thinking the same thing you know uh, the moment we saw the bar set up the lighting and everything i called up bharat and said uh, uh, i have a feeling of uh, shining here he said <laughs> that's exactly me and shelly wanted to achieve and the i'm so happy now you even you uh, uh, feel the same you know it it was uh, it, it was very exciting to be in that place and to see what we wanted uh, uh, been delivered but right. what, 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 you, do you want to add on to plan? what was your plan yeah, yeah same thing like see the moment uh, see uh, uh, during the recce myself and shelly we we realized certain limitations uh, with the lighting setup there you know uh, then we decided okay let's do it uh, this way and so the naturally low light um, uh, option came and uh, you know uh, at the time we immediately okay fine now it is calling for a setup like shining the it is also written in that way uh, maybe not the same meter but yeah it is some it could remind uh, people of that then let's go with that so then we did that and on the day of shoot i didn't really tell him and then the i think prasanna clicked a couple of pictures and then showed me you yeah. know uh, see this looks like that then i told him yeah <laughs> even we had that in no, mind I, and it worked I, out i nicely. clicked a picture like jack nicholson with that uh, psycho weird uh, smile with the low light as right. a selfie and i sent it to uh, bharat and said try to achieve shining uh, but miserably <laughs> failed <laughs> but then <laughs> Uh, no, right and i think i think i think partly why why those images come to mind is also the nature of what's going on in that conversation right because for all you care exactly. the bartender could well be imaginary he didn't even need to tell you anything um yeah. for all you care it could have been a conversation that you could probably be having with yourself absolutely yeah. absolutely i thoroughly enjoyed uh, that conversation uh, you know uh, thanks to uh, gautam uh, who performed uh, brilliantly and uh, in a very few reviews probably one out of five reviews i see uh, that conversation also being mentioned 
that they liked it and i'm very happy about it because that's one of my favorite part you know see the call with the uh, uh, escort or the, uh, the, the the pimp or uh, the girl or the wife it's all there but not many people uh, would probably notice this but this is the most exciting part as you said you know we never know was that guy even guy even there no we never know that's a very interesting character i i i want to know his story also siva i want to touch upon one aspect of the story here um this angle of a uh, of a manic wife almost you know one mm-hmm. that's almost a nag in a sense i'm not sure if you meant it to be that um as a writer i want to ask you though though um do you find yourself having to worry about um how that ang- such an angle typically gets perceived um you know because i i saw a couple of places where they seem to feel that there was uh, uh unjustified um uh, commentary on a woman um probably playing to how women are generally perceived as wives in our society um you know all the jokes about marriage and you know adding on to all these layers i didn't feel it was just to clarify but uh, i want to ask you whether or not as a writer when you're writing such angles you have to be extremely cautious about what you do no i don't want to be because i know my politics and i know where the uh, stories come from so mm. uh, a lot of these opinions are also uh based on the reviewers uh, owned by us also so uh, and in fact you can say that uh, all the all the three stories are uh, uh, women centric but you can look at it that way also in fact i mm. uh, looked at them like that we we it's not like a conscious effort to make something uh, feminist or any other way but while developing the stories we felt like we could write real characters uh, in fact uh, except the bartender in that story all other uh, bits of uh, that script all the conversations all the uh, characters uh, i've either heard of or i've seen so the, that i mean somebody mistaking a regular girl to be an escort uh, somebody trying to call a friend to reach uh, and it's got service and and that conversation right. between a guy and a madam for the first time uh, all these things i have witnessed actually i'm not i always wanted to write about them this this drama that was unfolding in front of my eyes looked so funny um, <laughs> except this uh, shining angle because it gave logical space to make a call to somebody and for that person to come you are at the bar who do you talk to it's the bartender and you go back to uh, kubrick you can steal from the masters it's not as good obviously but it's like a tribute and it's it's your own kick so no i don't think uh, i would worry about that and maybe there'll be another story where uh, uh, the, the men are going to be shown in poor yes. light as well and uh, that time the men can feel bad <laughs> <laughs> uh prasan as an actor um, do you find uh, such content um, liberating in a way that feature films are not i ask you this only because in a feature film i can almost imagine your character being conceived as a broken man almost as a villain in a sense i i feel i, I don't feel much difference between uh film or uh, a short film or to which medium we make it uh mm. this is a short film and that could be a lot said you know beyond the limited time we have given uh there is a larger picture uh behind this uh if given time we would have explored the relationship between the husband and wife uh, if given time we would have probably uh, explored what happens beyond uh, you know the last shot in the car- corridor you know yeah. uh I, i the medium doesn't bother me uh, mm. what's given to me as long as it's exciting uh, i i jump and take it fair enough um stava you directed the last film yourself um, it's been a while since you since you directed it right or have i yeah. missed something very yeah. recently yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you pick the last one specifically for yourself um, or or you know once you handed things out you picked one that was remaining Um, uh, if you did this, pick it uh, yourself why no this uh, whole series uh, was uh, meant to be and it kind of achieved that in the end was uh, always meant to be a, a collaborative effort for a, a lot of us to come back to work 
you know to, to show that we can make good telugu content out of chennai also not like it was uh, easier in the 90s where we had a lot more technicians who spoke telugu and malayalam and kannada and worked mm-hmm. out of uh, chennai but now we have regional industries which is fine which is nice uh, but at that point during lockdown it uh, had to be done and uh, there was no way for us to for us to take our actors and the crew to hyderabad or bring people from hyderabad over here so it was a bit restricted um, i i'm saying that only because uh, our intent was to actually make uh, each film with a different director i have a bunch of friends who are very capable directors in fact there were a couple of uh, senior colleagues of mine who were also contacted for this the writer kiran was supposed to direct something uh, my friend dop preeta was supposed to direct something we even asked uh, priya if she was available and uh, and uh, dana who made vanam kotta he was supposed to direct as well. so we had a good mm. you know uh, pool of directors to choose from uh, for various reasons uh, they couldn't participate and it uh, boiled down to uh, a limited number of people who could do stories and also the number of uh, stories also dwindled over time uh, the thing mm. is uh, i could have directed any of the three or i ideally i would not uh, want to direct any of them also because i want to see how others interpret these scripts that's a much better way of at least enjoying this whole process uh, but i felt that this particular story that i ended up directing had the uh, had the drama in the story was more hidden you know it was in too visible it, it was in a sense uh, the kind of script that is more uh, um, that you know it, it, you, you need to have a directorial approach to making that i think you know yeah. um, because it's not that the plot is not too obvious so and I, and i also thought it was uh, the riskiest which turned out to be true a lot of people like crossroads and the road that never ends because they are well made plus the scripts are also a little more accessible i thought this one had uh, a few hidden layers and probably subtle and i had to discover it while making it as well like what kind of visual cues and whatever i can do to make the story come through better so it's correct that the writer ended up uh, directing that story right um, i mean Did tell I me this it? You... it came to me that's all you spoke about uh, the joys of uh, allowing somebody else to interpret your material um, the written material and you've been writing for a while now um, and as Not i understand enough, you're yeah. also writing <laughs> fair yeah. enough um, i understand that you're also helping write pony and selvan are you not no i'm not no i'm not you know i'm i'm only okay. i'm only working as the ep you are okay fine but you you've still written uh, co-written films with uh, mr yeah. mani ratnam um, yeah. now that we're talking about a couple of films that you've written and someone else is directed bharat and sarjun here um, is it mm-hmm. is it scary for you to trust another person with the material that is very close to you as a writer not at all not at all and uh, i think i think it's about uh, taking a call and uh, sticking to the call you know like uh, how uh, in a, in a in a complex uh, chemical reaction how one particular reaction is going to define the uh, define everything uh, like it is complex process of filmmaking when you choose a director you are you you decided the fate of the film anyway so you uh, when you mm-hmm. decide to work with the director you like and trust um, you stop worrying about everything it's the headache um, oh it was I'm, nice i'm going to nice ask to you this about i'm going to ask you this both about sarjun and uh, uh, bharat um, and their films um were, were there was there an element or two about each of those films that uh, surprised you as a writer because you did not quite visualize it that way when you wrote it oh for sure i mean the, uh, in every scene and uh, at every sound treatment or angle or in the on a, or in the performance or in the editing rhythm there are uh, surprises that come your way uh, which is nice for example i didn't expect uh, 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 bharat and the dop uh, uh, shelly to uh, go that uh, colorful you know you know almost like a chinese restaurant kind of a feel more like in the mood for love they've gone for and i didn't expect sarjun to pull off the lorry shots at all because we i we didn't know how we, we kept talking about it because we can't take the lorry out we didn't have night uh, shoot permission and uh, there were technical challenges mm-hmm. about getting the uh, visual spot the 
interior lorry shots i, I was uh, very pleasantly surprised by uh, their calls and how they executed these things hmm. as a uh, penultimate question um i noticed that providence sort of plays an important role across the stories um i mean it is uh, it is fortunate that there is a heart attack in the in the first film in the second film it's fortunate that he meets up chances upon a girl uh, who he did not intend to be you know sort of chancing upon it's almost fortunate for kishor's character that he says the right things at the moment when things could have gone horribly wrong for him um in a sense uh, you could argue that luck sort of saves these characters um could you touch upon this angle at all is that a coincidence or is that is no that i think every story is allowed uh, one uh, leap of faith like you have to accept that there are aliens otherwise you won't watch et so <laughs> each story is allowed one trick from the writer's side you know that's the ground rule being a short film that that particular plot point becomes the important one in such shorter narratives and uh, mm-hmm. in a very funny way uh, you, you needed these points to underline the philosophy we are trying to uh, talk about for example the boy actually saves somebody and still i mean tries to save somebody and still uh, steals from him you know it's it's the complex yeah. nature of uh, how we Uh, decide things that we wanted to touch upon and i don't think kishore tried to say the right things he was being genuine and i think she uh, varlakshmi's character recognized that and that's why he didn't uh, you know go to jail so yeah i get it that it's uh, the timing but that is the narrative itself that is the story mm-hmm. right um as a final question i want each of you uh, to talk about what was heartening to you about being a part of padam Prasanna, I mean, first. you pick. You pick the order yourself. <laughs> the first thing, uh, it was a beautiful collaboration with all the lovely friends who trust me a lot. Uh, and yeah, after uh, COVID, first big shoot that we all did. And uh, as I said earlier, as in the script, uh, for a for a boy who is trying to find his lost romance. you know it it pretty much brought me to the same uh, where i've been doing a lot of uh, negative roles and you know kind of little catching up the monotony of being typecasted uh, and suddenly uh, something romantic comes and uh, you know i feel very much at home like playing uh, you know my home turf so uh, <laughs> that was really exciting that that's uh, that was really heartening for me okay i'll go um, see besides working with uh... Uh, people i truly enjoy working with I, i'm uh, quite grateful that uh, allu arvind sir and aha chose uh, sujatha and deva to make these films in telugu um, i i i have made a film in telugu i mean i feel very close to the telugu film industry i and i'm so glad that we could find a way to uh, shoot in telugu in chennai in these times uh, Uh, it's just my affinity to the language and to that industry because that uh, it it means something that we were interested with this, with this project and we were able to complete it and that's uh, something that we are quite proud of yeah with me uh, i'm very happy that you know uh, three beautiful stories are made with amazing friends we all knew each other we have worked together met met i think probably we uh, came to know each other well after this project and i hope we will continue to uh, work uh, thanks to sujatha and deva who uh, pulled it off uh, personally i got very excited though this is the first time though given my short experience uh, this is the first time i'm uh, directing somebody else's material uh, just very exciting for me and uh, it was liberating in a way i think i will explore more of this uh, on either way i might want to write for someone and i might want to direct somebody else's material so i don't know if that i would have thought about it if not for at the right so uh, i know uh, shiva sir for almost 10 years now so i have uh, listened to a lot of his stories lot of his narrations i have read a lot of his work uh, you know even in fact i have asked a couple of things in the during 2015 16 and november if i can uh, take couple of stories and direct myself which he refused yeah so uh, so i always <laughs> wanted to at one point you know if i can uh, i i could relate a lot of things uh, with his writing the way he writes the characters the way he uh, you know create situations uh, i have always uh, 
loved them all these years and i was waiting actually at some point i should direct one of his stories so uh, so this was a chance and uh, when i heard that uh, we were doing for uh, the the ott aha and uh, when i knew that he was writing i said yes i'm doing it inside so i assumed that i'm going to do one inside because uh, i always wanted to and uh, uh, he came up with some brilliant stories in the end so yeah so that was the uh, one thing that uh, you know heartening and pushed me to do this there you are too kind sir jun i don't know what to say <laughs> <laughs> fantastic guys thank you very much for uh, for participating in this conversation i hope you all uh, enjoyed talking about thank, thanks 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 for sana thank you for taking time thank out thank you thanks sudeep thank you all thank you thanks, thank you. thanks, thanks sudeep see you soon yeah thank you bye bye, bye. bye.